सिक्स क्वेश्चन सिक्स वन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इफ द लाइन्स If the lines 4x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0, 2x plus py plus 2 is equal to 0, and 6x. प्लस फाइव वाई माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो आर कॉन करेंट आर कॉन करेंट ओके फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी इफ द लाइंस फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस सेवन इज इक्वल जीरो 2x plus py plus 2 is equal to 0 and 6x plus 5y minus 1 is equal to 0 are concurrent these three lines are concurrent means the step 1 first solve first equation and third equation for point of intersection the second line passes through the point of intersection of first and three since they are concurrent so that means first we have to solve first and third equation we get the point of intersection substitute point of intersection in second equation we get the p value so that's very simple so first let us write the given given lines are 4x minus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 equation 1 2x Plus p y plus two is equal to zero. Second, six x plus five y minus one is equal to zero. This is third equation. So it had better to solve first and third equation for point of intersection. Solving one and three. For point of intersection, that means first solving from first equation. You can write cross multiplication method: minus three minus seven, four minus three. This is five minus one from third equation. Six five. Here x y one downwards plus upwards. You have to multiply with minus sign. So x divided by determinant of this two by two matrix. A D minus B C three minus five into minus plus thirty five. Y divided by Minus forty two plus four minus into minus plus one into four plus four. Now one divided by twenty plus eighteen minus six into minus three. So x divided by thirty eight, y divided by minus thirty eight. One by thirty-eight. First and last, second and last, taking. So x is equal to thirty-eight by thirty-eight. One. Y is equal to minus thirty-eight by thirty-eight minus one. Point of intersection is equal to one comma minus one. This one comma minus one should satisfy the second equation. So since 
1 comma minus 1 lies on 2. So, that means substituting 2 into 1 plus p into minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. 2 minus p plus 2 is equal to 0. So, 4 is equal to p. Therefore, p is equal to 4. This is the answer. Problem number 7. If the straight lines if the straight lines a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0, b x plus c y plus a is equal to 0 and c x plus a y plus b is equal to 0 are concurrent or concurrent then prove that then prove that a q plus b q plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c so, this is very, very, very important problem in the examination. I suppose that it may appear in any board examination. This is compulsory question. See, these three lines are concurrent. So, we have to prove the condition from this one. So, that means given lines are first equation, second equation, third equation. So, concurrent means these three lines pass through the same common point. That common point is known as point of concurrence. So, that means first step solve the first equation and second equation. You get point of intersection. Third equation also passes through the point of intersection of first and two. That means indirectly the point of intersection of first and second equation should, should satisfy the third equation or otherwise third equation passes through the point of intersection of first and second equation. Okay. First step let us do it first solve first equation and second equation substitute that point of intersection in the third equation then simplify it we get eliminant that eliminant is nothing but a q plus b q plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c. I hope you may do without watching my video also otherwise first watch my video after that you practice this question. This question is very very important in the examination. Solution given lines are what are the given lines a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 say equation 1 b x plus c y plus a is equal to 0. Second equation, what is the third equation? c x plus a y plus b is equal to 0. This is third one. First solving 1 and 2 you may get one doubt. So, why should we solve 1 and 2? Why not you can solve 2 and 3 or 1 and 3? So, better you can solve 1 and 2 for our convenience. So, now solving 1 and 2 using cross multiplication method. You know different types of methods of solving the linear equations in two variables, but in general these kind of problems can be dealt by using cross multiplication method or criss cross method. 
ok this we can write b c b c first a b c a b c x y 1 already told you this direction is plus while multiplying upwards multiply with first minus sign. So, x divided by a b minus c into plus c minus c square. Now, y divided by b c minus a square 1 by a c minus b square. So, first last equated. So, we get x is equal to a b minus c square by a c minus b square y is equal to b c minus a square by a c minus b square. Now, point of intersection of 1 and 2 is a b minus c square by a c minus b square b c minus a square by a c minus b square. I hope you might have understand the first step. What will be the second step? Second step is third equation passes through point of intersection. So, now a b minus c square a c minus b square b c minus a square by a c minus b square satisfy satisfy equation 3 substituting in equation 3. So, now c multiplied by a b minus c square by a c minus b square plus a multiplied by b c minus a square a c minus b square plus b equals to 0. Now, a c minus b square is l c m, am I correct? So, this this cancel a b c minus c q plus a b c minus a cube b multiplied by a c minus b square plus a b c minus b cube and this is equal to 0. Now, cross multiplication takes place a b c plus a b c plus a b c 3 a b c arrange in order minus a cube minus b cube minus c cube is equal to 0. Now, it is very simple take away minus a cube minus b cube minus c cube that side then therefore, we get a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c this is the required condition. 